Hello, and welcome to another MindFish Prep SAT video explanation for the official SAT study guide. My name is Jordan, and in this video, I'll be explaining problem 16 from section 8, test 2 of this book. The problem reads, on a square game board that is divided into n rows of n squares each, k of these squares lie along the boundary of the game board. Which of the following is a possible value for k? and then list five numerical answers. Well, if you need to find a possible value for k, we're going to need to learn some more information about k, the number of squares that lie on the boundary of an n by n game board. This is definitely easier to work with visually, so let's draw a game board. It doesn't matter which n you choose, what size you choose, it should all work out the same. I'm going to draw a four by four game board. So n here is going to be equal to 4. So if I want to find out how many of these squares are on the boundary, how many are in k, let's start by drawing how many of the squares are on this line. 1, 2, 3, 4 squares are on this upper boundary, 4 on the lower boundary, 4 on the left boundary, and 4 on the right boundary. So that adds up to 4 times n. But you've probably noticed that I double counted all of the squares on the corners, because they get counted for both sides that they're touching. So I'll have to subtract out the 4 corners that I overcounted. So I have 4 sides times the number of squares on that side, subtracting out the four corners that you'll end up over counting. And that equals k. Let's make sure this works for another game board. Let's pick n equals 3 this time. So here, I want to see how many go along any side. 3 on the top side, 3 on the right side, 3 on the bottom, and 3 on the left. But again, we've overcounted all the corners. So 4 times n, because here n is 3, so 4 sets of 3, subtracting out the 4 corners we've overcounted gives you k. So in every instance, no matter what n is, the expression 4n minus 4 is going to give you k. So now we have some good information about k. The next thing you want to realize is that you can pull a 4 out of this expression and get 4 times n minus 1 equals k. It should be a little bit more clear now that we can make a judgment about k. What I'm saying is that k has got to be a multiple of 4 because n is going to be a whole number, k has got to be a multiple of 4. If you take another look at the answer choices, you'll see that only one of them is a multiple of 4. So the answer is e, 52, because it's a multiple of 4. And that's how you do it. Thanks, and please continue to check out more MindFish videos.